Fishermen spend most of their time in the vast but the least explored part of our planet, the ocean, which covers approximately 71% of the Earth's surface. Despite being the most extensive ecosystem, scientists have delved into only 5% of its depths, leaving much of it unknown. Over the years, fishermen have uncovered incredible creatures, providing us with intriguing glimpses into what lies beneath. Join us as we show you 15 of the strangest finds while fishing. Number 15. Free Ride for Sloth Sloths, renowned as the most laid-back animals of equatorial forests, are masters of the unhurried lifestyle. Their arboreal lounging is interrupted only by the occasional stretch for fresh leaves, seemingly oblivious to the predators that may lurk below. With top speeds barely cresting two miles per hour, even when motivated, three-toed tree sloths have mastered survival through camouflage rather than quickness. Their method involves relying on stillness and the natural foliage that surrounds them, fortuitously concealing their sluggish bulk from the likes of harpy eagles or jungle cats. However, amidst this reputation for leisurely living, a recent event in a Brazilian lake has challenged the very essence of sloth stereotypes. Anivaldo Pita, on a routine fishing expedition with his brothers, stumbled upon a scene that defied the norm. A sloth, not in a tree, but gracefully swimming across the water. If sloths are famed for their slow-motion tree-to-tree journeys, this sloth had chosen a direct aquatic route to the opposite shore, surprising even the seasoned observers. The sloth's unconventional decision caught Pitta's attention, prompting him and his brothers to move in for a closer look. To their amazement, the seemingly relaxed creature turned out to be a capable swimmer, navigating the water with unexpected grace. Despite the sloth's innate aquatic abilities, Pitta and his brothers, perhaps driven by a sense of camaraderie with the creature, decided to offer a helping hand, or in this case, a helping boat. The heartwarming encounter was captured on video, revealing the sloth's contentment as it accepted an unexpected ride to expedite its journey. Upon reaching the shore, the sloth continued its slow-paced trek, the time required for its journey considerably shortened by the water-assisted shortcut. Number 14. Cocaine For two recreational fishermen trolling 30 miles off South Carolina's coast, spotting a debris pile adrift likely promised a fresh bounty of hungry fish nearby. But these fishermen didn't realize those were not fish, through the net, and look at the surprise they got. What they caught was far more valuable than fish, yet dangerously illegal. Over one million dollars worth of cocaine bricks floating amid the flotsam. These two fishermen beelined their small boat toward bobbing objects sighted off Charleston, expecting the floating trash to attract delicious mahi-mahi they watched jumping nearby. However, upon reaching the debris, dozens of tightly wrapped packages were jammed in the piles of jetsam, resembling building bricks. At over 40 pounds each, they heaved one aboard, and tearing the wrapping revealed a white, powdery substance. No fish food or building materials here. Having heard coastal stories of bales washing up when smugglers jettisoned illicit contraband during Coast Guard pursuit, both fishermen realized this enormous haul of narcotic street valued up to one million must be reported, despite fantasies of easy riches. After securing the illicit bricks in their cabin, they swiftly ended their fishing trip to contact federal agents at the nearest marina. Given no contraband touched American soil directly, the lucky anglers received no claim to their bonanza beyond congratulations for proper protocol with illegally encumbered flotsam. Yet the finder's restrictions couldn't diminish the excitement of stumbling onto floating cartel riches, almost better than their ambitious fishing hopes for the day. The opportunity only fed thrilling stories the two surely recount frequently. For while coastal sport fishing promises great bounty, sometimes the ocean yields even more valuable gifts floating amid the debris for lucky fishermen sharp-eyed enough to spy lucrative opportunities percolating beneath the waves. Number 13 octopus stealing crab. Setting up crab traps is a patient process, placing lines in good spots, boiling strong-smelling bait, and then eagerly pulling up cages, hoping for a good catch of lively crabs. Unfortunately, one fisherman in the Chesapeake Bay got empty shells floating on the water instead of finding heavy loads of crabs on his lines. The video shows the strategic prowess of a Pacific octopus as it cunningly absconds with the day's haul from unsuspecting fishermen. The crabs, initially enticed into a trap, fall victim to a grand heist orchestrated by this brainy behemoth. This creature is no ordinary cephalopod. It belongs to the largest octopus species globally, with the record holder tipping the scales at an astonishing 600 pounds and stretching an impressive 30 feet in length. 
Beyond their sheer physical enormity, these giant Pacific octopuses showcase a remarkable level of intelligence. Interestingly, studies reveal their cognitive prowess, with one audacious individual demonstrating the ability to manipulate their environment. In a controlled experiment, a giant Pacific octopus successfully mastered the art of opening a sealed jar, showcasing problem-solving skills that rival some mammals. Given such acumen, it comes as no surprise that this cephalopod mastermind effortlessly infiltrated the fishermen's trap, leaving them bewildered as they hoisted empty cages from the depths. Fishermen now have a new challenge, a battle of wits against these highly intelligent cephalopods. The ease with which the octopuses have mastered the art of stealing from traps demands a creative response from the human contenders. Number 12. Megalodon Teeth Megalodon, just the name evokes images of a monstrous shark cruising prehistoric seas, dwarfing modern great whites at over 50 feet long. While Meg went extinct millions of years ago, diving expeditions still occasionally unearth its fossilized triangular teeth, huge artifacts practically bursting with primal awe. Recently, some anomalously young megalodon teeth discoveries have sparked a debate. Could Meg still be lurking in the ocean depths? Or are these teeth simply remnants of a shark long gone? No prehistoric predator stirs the excitement and speculation of cryptozoologists like Carcaracles Megalodon. It's disputed exactly when Meg reigned, but fossils date it to at least 15 million years ago. Its teeth convey its scale. At over 7 inches long, they're larger and thicker than great white teeth. Meg likely inhabited warm waters worldwide, feeding on whales and giant sea turtles. But by around 2.6 million years ago, it disappeared from the fossil record. Yet Meg's teeth keep surfacing, sometimes in unexpected places. In 1875, the HMS Challenger dredged up two Carcaracles teeth from the central Pacific seafloor, nearly 14,000 feet deep. Bafflingly, a 1959 analysis dated these teeth to just 11,000 years old. If true, Meg survived a previously assumed extinction by over a million years. But could the analysis be flawed? Most paleontologists think so, arguing the teeth more likely date to Meg's accepted 2 to 3 million year extinction timeline. Until live Megs appear, or more anomalous teeth turn up, its survival remains theoretical. But artifacts from its reign will continue to tantalize divers. Meg may be gone, but its legend lives on in its fossilized teeth, which conjure up primal awe and remind us that the ocean depths still guard many mysteries yet to be discovered. Number 11. Oarfish of the Deep in tales of ancient mariners, sea serpents, and leviathans, they lurked beneath the waves, jeopardizing ships and swallowing sailors whole. While those legendary beasts probably existed only in imagination, the oceans do harbor elusive creatures that strike awe in those fortunate enough to encounter them. The oarfish is one such mystery of the deep, an elongated wonder of ribbon-like fins undulating as they swim vertically, conjuring visions of sea monsters from folklore coming to life. With crimson manes running the length of their 36-foot silver bodies, oarfish look like creatures out of myth when they gracefully ascend from the shadows. Reaching lengths up to over 36 feet, the oarfish holds the title of the longest bony fish alive today. Inhabiting ocean depths ranging from 650 to 3,280 feet, these elusive creatures lack a swim bladder and depend on minimal body movement to conserve energy in the dark pelagic waters as they ambush smaller fish and plankton that stray too close. Believed to have inspired ancient tales of sea monsters, modern sightings still evoke mystical intrigue, as oarfish occasionally wash ashore or become entangled in nets, offering fleeting opportunities to glimpse their obscure existence. Traditionally known as Ryugu no Tsukai in Japanese, translating poetically to the messenger from the sea god's palace, these fish are steeped in lore suggesting their beachings presage underwater earthquakes or tsunamis due to their deep ocean dwellings. The aura of mystery surrounding them deepened as fishermen hauled in two massive 11 to 13 meter long specimens off Japan's Fukushima coast in 2011, just before disaster struck in the form of the devastating tsunami. The tragic events of the Fukushima disaster resulted in widespread devastation, thousands of lives lost, communities displaced, and immense environmental damage. Against this backdrop, the oarfish's enigmatic presence, symbolizing an eerie connection with the depths of the ocean, adds a haunting layer to the narrative of that fateful year. Its infrequent appearances conjure visions of an elusive harbinger, unexpectedly delivering disquieting omens from far beneath the surface before slipping silently back into the shadows. Number 10. 
Sniper Rifles Magnet fishing has become a hobby for modern treasure seekers. They hurl a heavy magnet attached to a rope into waterways, then haul up whatever it attracts for inspection. Shopping carts, old coins, or far more alarming finds, as one Florida grandfather discovered. While scouring canals with his 11-year-old grandson Alan, Dwayne Smith tried the rising pastime of magnet fishing, hoping its hands-on focus would engage his adventurous yet quiet grandson. Choosing a canal bridge near his hiking spot, Dwayne wasn't expecting much beyond some bottle caps or coins. But magnet fishing pulls up unpredictable things from murky depths. Just five minutes in, Dwayne and Alan reeled up not spare change or old wares, but two huge pieces of metal wrapped in plastic. Military-grade sniper rifle receivers worth $20,000 if sold illegally. As an infantry veteran trained in sniper rifle use, Dwayne recognized the lethal HK-417 weapons. Judging by corrosion, he estimated they had been submerged for up to a year before the surprising catch. Dwayne dutifully handed over the disconcerting contraband to Miami police to continue the mysterious investigation. Weapons possibly tossed by fleeing criminals or a tragic boating accident. While the odd fishing find ended his family outing early, at least Dwayne's aim of engaging his curious grandson with magnet fishing definitely worked. Though the adventure proved far more eye-opening than expected. Be careful what you fish for. Number 9 body part. A recreational fishing charter off Tampa, Florida took a gruesome turn when one angler made an alarming discovery while filleting the catch. Jerry Masterson joined several veteran angler friends for some offshore sport fishing, hoping for coveted trophy specimens like mahi-mahi, grouper, or bluefin tuna to brag about back on land. After a few uneventful hours trolling bait lines behind the boat with no bites, the trip seemed a bust. But suddenly, one rod bent violently, and Jerry seized it to begin reeling in the catch, an enormous 80-pound yellow fin tuna. After a spirited fight nearly spooling out his line several times, he finally pulled the huge fish into the boat to admiring hoots from his friends. Such a massive tuna would have made the whole day successful. But while slicing behind its gills to field dress this prize catch, Jerry noticed a rancid odor from its abdomen, unlike normal tuna spoilage. Investigating the stomach contents, he recoiled in revulsion. Inside nestled unmistakably human private parts. Fighting gag reflexes to regain composure and alarm his mates, Masterson quickly wrapped the remains in plastic for authorities. Once within radio range, he immediately summoned the Coast Guard to report and transfer the disturbing evidence to forensic investigators seeking potential identities and causes if foul play was involved. While the tuna catch alone capped a fine day of fishing, the alarming find foreshadowed much paperwork and interviews for Jerry regarding the opened investigation tracing the tragic story behind the victim. But such are the unexpected adventures the ocean can bring, reminding us its beauty holds unpredictable darkness, with mysteries lurking beneath idyllic surfaces. Number 8. Alien-like creature. In nature, Evolution continually reinvents possibilities through endless biological innovation. The ocean offers glimpses into some of Earth's most creative marvels when we catch sight of its more obscure denizens closest resembling alien life forms. If you're unfamiliar with basket stars, then behold one prime example hauled aboard by a Singapore fisherman that instantly evokes extraterrestrial visions from its tangled mass of slender, squirming tendrils. What Ramlin Saim thought was merely clumped seaweed and snare on his line during an average fishing outing soon revealed itself as something far stranger once hoisted from waters off Singapore's coast for inspection. As he cleared away the golden brown vegetation, astonishingly it began writhing with life, covered in delicate, wriggling strands numbering over 100 that looked unnervingly like something from the abyss. This bewildering creature was no plant tangle at all, but instead a basket star, a distant cousin to familiar starfish known for its delicate, intricately branched arms that coil into a flexible cage used to capture plankton and small fish wandering too close in the depths from which it came. There are over 2,000 species of brittle stars occupying both shallow and extremely deep marine habitats, with more than 1,200 species dwelling lower than 3,000 feet down. Yet despite their abundance permeating most marine ecosystems, basket stars stand out for their alien beauty thanks to the ornate fractal-like arrangements of their cilia-lined arms emanating like medusa locks from five central discs. Even viewed up close, it takes effort to recognize they even occupy the same evolutionary tree as a common five-pointed starfish. Some bob gently with deep ocean currents like surreal seafloor lanterns, yet despite appearances, all brittle stars are efficient carnivores, 
using their deceptive elaborate coils to ambush critters lured by illusion into nearly invisible cages until the basket quickly tightens. So while this basket star momentarily disrupted a routine fishing outing with its otherworldly gestalt, it provided intrigue before being released back where it silently drifts along the seafloor, weaving delicately branched snares resembling abstract art, or perhaps some eldritch life form from the deepest recesses of an alien ocean on far distant worlds. Number 7. Live Grenade The murky depths of canals and rivers hold all manner of discarded debris from decades past, as magnet fishing hobbyists often discover when testing their luck, hoping to dredge up antique treasures or tools instead of just old cans and bolts. Most finds may be humble, corroded remains, but occasionally things surface better left buried, as two magnet fishermen realized when their magnet snagged something more volatile than spare change or wagon wheels. While exploring canal waters around Tarleton, England with magnets one autumn day in 2017, the two friends felt their rope snag something substantial near the bank. Reeling it in revealed not antique goods, but a heavy fist-sized metal orb caked in grime, identifiable even through the rust, a live World War one era grenade. Even as excitement turned to alarm, their infantry knowledge indicated this MK1 model remained active after over a century underwater. Realizing if jostled, it could erupt at any moment, they immediately phoned emergency services to handle the volatile relic while evacuating boaters and towpaths nearby. After cordoning off the area, authorities transported the grenade gingerly to a nearby field for controlled detonation by Army Explosive Ordnance Disposal Units. The blast safely neutralized the century-old explosive before it could threaten anyone along that peaceful canal. Investigations eventually tied it to old munitions factories along urban canals dating from World War I. While this brush with danger concluded without harm, canal guardians worry many more undetonated grenades likely lurk in silty depths pockmarked by wartime industry. These somber artifacts from past conflicts emerge as ominous reminders that while magnet fishing provides thrills dredging up metal treasure, lethal perils also await those who delve blindly into history's restless murk. Number 6. Ancient Calicanth Trace back Earth's evolutionary charts over 400 million years, and you'll discover a living fossil fish named the Calcanth, which incredibly still glides through our oceans, despite unmodified ancestry stretching to the dinosaurs. After a fossil gap of 65 million years, this dino fish astonishingly resurfaced in modern times thanks to chance capture by South African shark hunters, who unlocked a portal to our planet's prehistoric past. The first fossil Coelacanth was identified in 1839 within a coal formation, instantly notable for anatomies unchanged across eras. Forming one of evolution's greatest success stories, their adaptable designs enabled thriving 200 million years alongside early dinosaurs until the end Cretaceous extinction event wiped out larger marine reptiles. Paleontologists assumed the Coelacanth also perished then with no traces over subsequent eons. That accepted narrative shockingly flipped in 1938 when Captain Goosen netted a bizarre fish unlike any caught before, indicating prehistory's boundless ability to surprise. Scrambling to preserve his baffling specimen, he alerted Marjorie Courtney Latimer, an East London Museum curator whose telegrams to esteemed South African ichthyologist Dr. J.L.B. Smith sparked immediate fossil fish mania upon verifying a miraculously alive Quelacanth, dubbed Latimeria columnae, in honor of her initiative. While museums competed furiously for display rights to the zoological sensation, subsequent specimens occasionally arrived over the following decades as deeper trawls accessed their preferred 600 to 1600 foot habitats. Their rediscovery revolutionized perceptions of natural history's limitations and the resilience of primordial anatomies, granting humanity a profound perspective on timelessness through a portal to our distant past, still gliding gracefully within modern oceans. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. This fisherman didn't realize those were not fish, threw the net and look at the surprise he got. Mexican fisherman Raul Hurtado was searching for an octopus off Punta Gorda when he spotted a shimmer in the swirling sands, perhaps a flash of scales or shell. Yet hauling in his catch unveiled no sea creature. They were glittered golden jewelry and ingots worth millions, once worn by Aztec nobility now returned from shipwrecked graves by the whim of waves and luck. These artifacts, dubbed the fisherman's jewels, are now worth millions. It makes you wonder what other treasures remain hidden in the undiscovered depths. Have you ever caught something incredible while fishing the seas? Let us know in the comments. Number 5. Two-Headed Porpoise 
In the expansive and uncharted depths of Earth's oceans, teeming with diverse aquatic life, the occurrence of conjoined twinning in wild porpoises had eluded both fishermen and marine biologists, until a group of perplexed Dutch anglers unintentionally hauled in this unprecedented case off the North Sea coasts. Although captivated by their remarkable catch, the necessity for a swift release, unfortunately, curtailed any opportunity for a more thorough analysis of this rare specimen. Seeking schools of herring in December 2008, Dutch fishermen near the island of Texel instead dredged up a bizarrely deformed porpoise fetus with two heads fused at the torso. The distressed animal had already perished, likely shortly after its difficult breech birth. Recognizing the scientific significance sitting forlornly amidst their bycatch, they carefully photographed the 40-centimeter rarity from all angles before consensus to discard it without violating strict conservation laws. With no qualified teams accessible dockside to preserve the invaluable carcass, the doubting fishermen mandated returning it to the waves despite monumental discovery. Experts thus lost opportunities probing developmental causes behind its quadrupled eyes and twin blowholes. Marine biologists globally lamented potential insights gone by not reporting the unprecedented finding before discarding it forever into dark sea depths. Yet the lone images survived to finally confirm conjoined twinning manifesting under extraordinary circumstances in these intelligent marsh mammals. While tragic in the outcome, the extraordinary find marks historic documentation for marine science annals. It shows that the Earth still harbors biological mysteries barely explored by humanity. What future revelations await hooked in fishermen's nets or spotted flitting through boundless blue vistas, our oceans yet conceal far more than imagined, requiring only fortunate timing, lifting veils on secrets scarcely dreamed of just below the surface. Number 4. Hammerhead Scare while great white sharks dominate headlines for aggressive attacks, hammerheads also inflict nasty bites with unnerving frequency, thanks to notoriously irritable dispositions. One Florida swimmer narrowly avoided becoming a hammerhead hunting statistic thanks to last-minute mere feet turning the apex predator away. But the close call still spotlights the species' unpredictable danger even in calm shallows. The video shows a man leisurely swimming off a quiet Florida beach. But suddenly, from the murky depths emerges a wide, ominous shape, beelining straight toward the vulnerable bather. In seconds, the outline sharpens into the unmistakable flattened mallet profile of an approaching hammerhead shark, its eyes trained hungrily on the flailing human. Yet rather than snatch the easy meal within its eight-foot span, the shark diverges sharply at the last instant leaving the stunned victim hyperventilating but unblooded. While great whites deserve notorious reputations for deadliness, hammerheads statistically rate as the next most threatening shark species, having inflicted at least 16 unprovoked attacks on humans since 1580. Though less immediately lethal than whites, Hammerhead bites crush viciously with narrowly spaced teeth on elongated jaws spanning over five feet on larger specimens. Factor in notoriously short and aggressive temperaments, and hammerheads strike constant unease in swimmers and divers encountering them. So while this passing shark ultimately spared its shouting prey, hammerhead uncertainty means one should never assume safety even in shallows or clear conditions. Their mercurial moods in concert with formidable crushing bites ensure these sharks always remain unpredictable threats for any entering waters they frequent. With global populations exceeding a million, waters worldwide hide potential paranoid aggressors with flattened malicious heads peering from dark depth, sizing up feet and fins for bite potential unless proven docile by a close uneventful encounter. Never assume safety among hammerheads. Number 3. Whale Swallows Kayakers Kayaking usually brings to mind peacefully gliding through beautiful nature on clear waters. But things can get scary if a huge creature like a humpback whale accidentally knocks over your tiny kayak. That's exactly what happened to two paddlers in California. The whale lunged, tipped their kayak, and suddenly they were inside its big mouth. The stunning incident occurred off Avila Beach, where many spectators watched two lady kayakers peacefully drifting among gentle ten-foot swells. Suddenly, one enormous bubble immediately preceded a breaching young humpback bursting from the sea, mouth wide, and headed straight for the minuscule craft. Its long throat grooves accordioned as the boat tipped, then vanished between its jaws in one quick gulp. For a few terrifying seconds, everyone stared dumbstruck, certain the women had just become unfortunate inflated statistics. But amazingly, 
both surfaces near the still-floating cockpit. Scrambling atop the kayak with only humiliating soakings, the giant mammal had ejected them quickly after somehow failing to swallow the bulky bundle, showing fortuitous restraint. Rare incidents have occurred in the past with less fortunate outcomes when people actively harass or threaten pods, but this appeared an honest targeting mistake given humpback's tiny throats normally filter only anchovies or krill. Neither woman held grudges against the giant grateful to laugh about a literal experience in a whale's mouth. Number 2. Strange Sea Creature Trawling 2,600 feet beneath the Arctic Circle promises tasty catches like halibut or haddock. But for one Norwegian fishing vessel off Andoya Island, the truly bizarre creature, their deep sea lines dredged up, left the crew scratching heads trying to classify its almost alien anatomy into known species. Only later did shocked biologists confirm this nightmare fish as a ratfish, a rare glow-in-the-dark species unchanged for 300 million years. Even veteran deckhands gasped as the monstrosity emerged into stark light after a long struggle against the immense pressure where it normally swims in lightless extremes. The strange fish looked like an oversized tadpole. The fishermen at least enjoyed brief revenge filleting it for supper, where they deemed its ugly looks belied allegedly delicious meat. Secretive ratfish typically avoid human interference dwelling over half a mile deep, practicing bioluminescent lures and camouflage to ambush smaller prey. Their gruesome appearance juxtaposed with familiar cod pulled aboard fascinated biologists, confirmed as a ratfish species rarely snared so shallow, <laughs> Its dramatic capture highlights how much mystery still glides beneath our ocean's surfaces barely glimpsed. What further nightmares or marvels await even deeper in furthest reach fathoms as technology progresses? For now, we must wonder as such rarely seen specimens occasionally emerge from the past, yielding insights into marine biology's ancient evolutionary frontiers. Number 1. Long-Nosed Chimera not many fishermen stay calm when pulling up strange creatures from the mysterious depths of Earth's waters. A fisherman in Newfoundland had quite the reaction when his line snagged a peculiar pointy-nosed fish that seemed like a bizarre mix of a shark, a ray, and something from prehistoric times. This strange chimera had venomous spines, but oddly enough, it only caused needle-like panic as people tried to comprehend its unimaginable anatomy. 2,000 feet down off Newfoundland's Grand Banks, a fisherman sought tasty turbot fish when his hook snagged something heavy wrestling for minutes against the immense pressures. Reaching the surface uncovered a flat, five-foot fish from bad science fiction nightmares. Solid black eyes bulging above a 12-inch nose spear, ribbed cartoonish body, floppy dorsal fin, and venomous tail barbs. Its ridiculous expression mocked desperate efforts classifying its outrageous evolutionary origins. Chimeras split from sharks 400 million years ago, retaining primitive snouts holding electro-sensing organs for detecting buried prey, while bodies evolved into flattened rays. Only 50 species species exist in deep seas, rarely witnessed alive by researchers. Their dorsal spikes can inject venom causing temporary limb paralysis if handled, though Roe escaped unneedled. His rare catch highlights how the oceans contain living fossils and alien anatomies barely sensed except by remote submersibles probing eternal midnight zones where bait attractions sometimes snares science-defying anomalies. What nightmares glide down there still unknown? Surely any catch might materialize off a random hook among the ocean's silent majority of life, thriving at mind-crushing pressures and endless dark, barely glimpsed by humanity above. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.